Hello, everybody. <clears throat> I'm sure you're here because of the title, <laughs> if you're new to my channel. Um, this channel is going to be a little, or uh, this video is going to be a little bit of story time with April, and um, just bringing attention to this topic and what we need to do about it um, as Christians. <clears throat> So, a little bit of story time. So, for those of you who don't know, I have my Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, and I completed most of a Master's of Science in Marriage and Family Therapy. I completed most of the academic coursework, um, and I had just barely begun doing the practicum. And, uh, anyway, one of the courses that I took, um, was titled something to the effect of couples and sex, which was one of the most, you know, interesting courses of the program. Um, but in this course, we had a major project. And the project, it, it was basically like we had to do some kind of research or experiment and write a paper on it. And um, we had to get approval for the topic. And I don't even remember because so much has gone on in my life since then. That was a good eight or so years ago. I don't remember how I arrived on this topic, but I did mine on BDSM. And just now, this afternoon, I was simply clicking through, renewing all my Craigslist ads for all the stuff I'm selling, and out of nowhere, the Lord just popped this in my head that I need to address that spiritually. I need to um, renounce... Um, the fact that I went to one of their conventions as far, part of my project and so on and so forth. But anyway, um, so I took on this project and, oh, that's what it was. I was still kind of messing around on the dating sites back then. I, I was still, I still kind of had like one foot in the world back then. And uh, this one guy that I had kind of been interacting with he was um, slightly in that lifestyle or community. Um, and so anyway, and I ended up also interviewing some woman over the phone. She was up in like Atlanta and she was telling me about some real wacky stuff. I forget what she called it. I think it was called like female-led relationship, FLR, or something like that, and she was getting into all these crazy topics about, like, grown women um, somehow inducing their own breasts to produce milk, and then grown men consuming that milk and just incorporating that into their sex life and just... It was a very interesting uh, season of my life. I, I learned some of the really out there stuff that people do. And uh, so anyway, somehow, some way, I ended up getting into connection with this couple who was part of this underground community, and they invited me to go, I think I went to maybe two events in that community. Um, yeah, I think I went to two different events. The one event, um, I forget now everything I learned. I should go dig up my research paper and go read it. But anyway, um, one of the events, it was more like a presentation. It, um, I forget, like, they have different kind of events that they do on, like, a monthly or weekly or whatever basis. So I went to one event and um, 
I think it was a lesbian couple or something, they were doing a teaching on like how you can spice up your love life, your sex life, and um, kind of teaching like, you know, about like, you know, just, I, I don't even know what to call it, just like little tips and tricks and techniques and, um, and so on and so forth. And then the other event was, um, again, it's been so, it's so far back in my past, I don't remember the terminology or anything, but this event that I went to, this was raunchy. Um, I saw some stuff that I did not want to see. <laughs> Um, and, uh, so anyway, I opened myself up to that and the Lord was just, just popped this in my head that I need to address that spiritually. So, um, I'm going to be doing that. And, um, this is probably why I haven't gotten around to doing the video I keep telling you guys I'm, I'm going to do because... I do want to include everything in it, and I think the Lord is still maybe kind of, I'm still lingering with the Lord um, about all the topics he wants me to include and everything. But anyway, if you are not familiar with this, good, keep it that way, and you can move on. Um, but if in your past or in your present, you are involved in anything related to BDSM. It is not godly. It is not healthy. It is not God's will. It is not God's design. It is not God's ordination. And it is something you need to repent of. It is something you need to renounce. It is something you need to revoke. There are demons operating in this kind of lifestyle and mentality, etc. Um, I guess I'm kind of going backwards here, but for those of you who don't know, it stands for um, bondage, domination, and uh, sadism and masochism. Um, none of that. I mean, there's actually a spirit of domination. I was actually de delivered of that. Um, there's a, there's also a, a spirit of bondage. I was delivered of that as well. Um, there's all kinds of... Uh, just like in Christianity, like when you really talk to people, you can find out all the different like beliefs and whatever that different people have. Like... It, it, it's the same thing, you know, it's like, this, this is a community of people, and, you know, some are more on one day the end of the spectrum, and some are more on others, and da-da-da-da, whatever. My point for this video is just, if this is in, if this has been in your life, or is in your life in any way, shape, or form, you need to be addressing it spiritually. Um, I did not participate in any of this kind of stuff, but I did go did participate in the sense of I attended a couple of their meetings. Um, and the Lord is telling me that I need to, you know, repent, renounce, revoke just for that, never mind participating in anything. Um, so I just want to throw this out there. I will put this on the list of things I'm going to address in my upcoming video whenever I get around to doing it. It's going to be quite probably quite a long video because I'm going to address a lot of stuff. But, um, I will put the, uh, links to my Google Drive below for the prayerful steps to freedom for self-deliverance and cutting soul ties and so on and so forth. Um, but I just wanted to just quickly address this, that <clears throat> this is not of God. Okay, nothing involved with BDSM has any place in a Christian marriage, which is the only place that sex should be happening. All of this is sick, perverted, demented versions of what God created to be a beautiful exchange 
and symbolic of us and our relationship with him. So, so that's that. Um, as usual, if you have any questions, reach out. I'll do the best I can to help you. Um, but yeah, if you've participated in this or exposed yourself to this or whatever, you need to repent, renounce, revoke, it, and uh, all, all the steps, basically, that are in the prayerful steps to freedom. So I will put those below. All right. I bless you all in Jesus' name.